Chapter 16 It came to pass then, when I came into their region, that they mutinied and fought against the light. And I took a third of their power in order that they should not be able to accomplish their evil deeds. And the fate and the sphere over which they rule I have changed, and set them facing the left six months in accomplishing their influences, and I have set them turned another six months to the right in accomplishing their influences. Chapter 17 When then he had said this to his disciples, he said unto them, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. It came to pass then, when Mary had heard the Saviour say these words, that she gazed fixedly into the air for the space of an hour. She said, My Lord, give commandment unto me to speak in openness. And Jesus, the compassionate, answered and said unto Mary, Mary, thou blessed one, whom I will perfect in all mysteries of those of the height, discourse in openness, thou whose heart is raised to the kingdom of heaven more than all thy brethren. Chapter 18 Then Mary said to the Saviour, My Lord, the word which thou hast spoken unto us, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Thou sayest in order that we may understand the word which thou hast spoken. Hearken therefore, my Lord, that I may discourse in openness. The word which thou hast spoken, I have taken a third from the power of the rulers of all the eons, and changed their fate and their sphere over which they rule, in order that, if the race of men invoke them in the mysteries, those which the angels have transgressed have taught them for the accomplishing of their evil and lawless deeds in the mystery of their sorcery. In order then that they may no more than this hour accomplish their lawless deeds, because thou hast taken their powers from them, and from their horoscope casters, and their consulters, and from those who declare to the men in the world all things which shall come to pass, in order that they should no more from this hour know how to declare unto them anything at all which will come to pass. For thou hast changed their spheres, and hast made them spend six months turned to the left and accomplishing their influences, and another six months facing the right and accomplishing their influences. Concerning this word then, my Lord, the power which was in the prophet Isaiah has spoken thus and proclaimed after time in a spiritual similitude, discoursing on the vision about Egypt. Where then, O Egypt, where are the consulters and horoscope casters, and those who cry out of the earth, and those who cry out of their belly? Let them then declare unto thee from now on the deeds which the Lord Sabaoth will do. The power then which was in the prophet Isaiah, prophesied before thou didst come, that thou wouldst take away the power of the ruler of the eons, and wouldst change their sphere and their fate, in order that they might know nothing from now on. For this cause it hath said also, Ye shall then know not of what the Lord Sabaoth will do, that is, none of the rulers will know what thou wilt do from now on. For they are Egypt, because they are matter, the power then which was in Isaiah prophesied concerning the aforetime, saying, From now on ye shall then know not what the Lord Sabaoth will do. Because of the light power which thou didst receive from Sabaoth the good, who is in the region of the right, and which is in thy material body today, for this cause then, my Lord Jesus, thou hast said unto us, Who hath ears to hear, let him hear in order that thou mightest know whose heart is ardently raised to the kingdom of heaven. Chapter 19 Jesus commandeth Mary. She further questioned him on the changing of the spheres. It came to pass then, when Mary had finished saying these words, that he said, Well said, Mary, for thou art blessed before all women on the earth, because thou shalt be the fullness of all fullnesses, and the perfection of all perfections. Now when Mary had heard the Saviour speak these words, she exalted greatly, and she came before Jesus, fell down before him, adored his feet, and said unto him, My Lord, hearken unto me, that I may question thee on this word, before that thou discourse with us about the regions whither thou didst go. Jesus answered and said unto Mary, Discourse in openness, and fear not. 
all things on which thou questionest I will reveal unto thee. Chapter 20 She said, My Lord, will all the men who know the mystery of the magic of all the rulers of all the eons of the fate, and those of the sphere, in the way in which the angels who transgressed have taught them, if they invoke them in their mysteries, that it is their evil magic to the hindering of good deeds, will they accomplish them henceforth from now on or not? Jesus answered and said unto Mary, They will not accomplish them as they accomplished them from the beginning, because I have taken away a third of their power. But they will raise a loan from those who know the mysteries of the magic of the thirteenth eon. And if they invoke the mysteries of the magic of those who are in the thirteenth eon, they will accomplish them well and surely, because I have not taken away power from that region according to the command of the first mystery. Chapter 21 And it came to pass, when Jesus had finished saying these words, that Mary continued again and said, My Lord, will not then the horoscope casters and consulters from now on declare unto men what will come to pass for them? And Jesus answered and said unto Mary, If the horoscope casters find the fate and the sphere turned towards the left according to their first extension, their words will come to pass, and they will say what is to take place. But if they chance on the fate or the sphere turned to the right, they are bound to say nothing true. For I have changed their influence in their squares and their triangles and their octagons, seeing that their influences from the beginning onwards were continuously turned to the left, and their squares and their triangles and their octagons. But now I have made them spend six months turned to the left, and six months turned to the right. He who shall find their reckoning from the time when I change them, setting them so as to spend six months facing towards their left, and six months facing their right path. He who then shall observe them in the wise, will know their influences surely, and will declare all things which they will do. In like manner also the consulters, if they invoke the names of the rulers and chance on them facing the left, will tell men with accuracy all things concerning which they shall ask their deacons. On the contrary, if the consulters invoke their names when they face to the right, they will not give ear unto them, because they are facing in another form compared with their former position in which you had established them, seeing that other of their names when they are turned to the left, and other their names when they are turned to the right. And if they invoke them when they are turned to the right, they will not tell them the truth, but they will confound them with confusion and threaten them with threatening. Those, then, who do not know their path, when they are turned to the right, and their triangles and their squares and all their figures will find nothing true, but will be confounded in great confusion, and will find themselves in great delusion. Because I have now changed the works which they effected aforetime in their squares, when turned to the left, and in their triangles and their octagons, in which they were busied continuously turned to the left, and I have made them spend six months forming all their configurations turned to the right, in order that they may be confounded in confusion in the whole range. And moreover, I have made them spend six months turned to the left, and accomplishing the works of their influences, and all their configurations, in order that the rulers who are in the eons, and in their spheres, and in their heavens, and in all their regions, may be confounded in confusion, and deluded in delusion, so that they may not understand their own path. Chapter 22 Philip questioned Jesus. It came to pass then, when Jesus had finished saying these words, when Philip sat and wrote all the words that Jesus spake, thereafter then it came to pass that Philip came forward, fell down and adored the feet of Jesus, saying, My Lord and Saviour, Grant me authority to discourse before thee, and to question thee on this word, before thou discourse with us concerning the regions whither thou didst go because of thy ministry. And the compassionate Saviour answered and said unto Philip, Authority is given thee to bring forward the word which thou willest. And Philip answered and said unto Jesus, My Lord, on account of what mystery hast thou changed the binding of the rulers, 
and their eons, and their fate, and their sphere in all the regions, and made them confounded in confusion on their path, and deluded in their course. Hast thou then done this unto them for the salvation of the world, or hast thou not? Chapter 23 Why the Path of the Eons Was Changed And Jesus answered, and said unto Philip, and to all the disciples together, I have changed their path for the salvation of all souls. Amen, amen, I say unto you. If I had not changed their path, a host of souls would have been destroyed, and they would have spent a long time. If the rulers of the eons, and the rulers of the fate, and of the spheres, and of all their regions, and all their heavens, and all their eons had not been brought to naught. And the souls would have continued a long time here outside, and the completion of the number of perfect souls would have been delayed, which souls shall be counted in the inheritance of the height through the mysteries, and shall be in the treasury of the light. For this cause, then, I have changed their path, that they might be deluded and fall into agitation, and yield up the power which is in the matter of their world, and which they fashion into souls, in order that those who shall be saved might be quickly purified and raised on high, they in the whole power, and that those who shall not be saved might be quickly destroyed. Chapter 24 Mary questions him again. It came to pass then, when Jesus had finished saying these words unto his disciple, that Mary, the fair in her discourse, and the blessed one, came forward, fell at the feet of Jesus, and said, My Lord, suffer me that I speak before thee, and be not wroth with me, if oft I give thee trouble questioning thee. The Saviour, full of compassion, answered and said unto Mary, Speak the word which thou willest, and I will reveal it to thee in all openness. Mary answered and said unto Jesus, My Lord, in what way will the souls have delayed themselves here outside, and in what type will they be quickly purified? Chapter 25 And Jesus answered and said unto Mary, Well said, Mary, thou questionest finely with thy excellent question, and thou throwest light on all things with surety and precision. Now therefore, from now on will I hide nothing from you, but I will reveal unto you all things with surety and openness. Hearken then, Mary, and give ear, all ye disciples. Before I made proclamation to all the rulers of the eons, and all the rulers of the fate and of the spheres, they were all bound in their bonds, and in their spheres, and in their seals, as you, the overseer of the light, had bound them from the beginning. And every one of them remained in his order, and every one journeyed according to his course, as you, the overseer of the light, had established them. And when the time of the number of Melchizedek, the great receiver of the light, came, he was wont to come into the midst of the eons and all the rulers, who are bound in the sphere and in the fate. And he carried away the purification of the light from all the rulers of the eons, and from the rulers of the fate, and from those of the sphere, for he carried away then that which brings them into agitation. And he set in motion the hastener who was over them, and made them turn their circles swiftly. And he, the hastener, carried away their power which was in them, and the breath of their mouth, and the tears, waters of their eyes, and the sweat of their bodies. And Melchizedek, the receiver of the light, purified those powers, and carried their light into the treasury of the light while the servitors of all the rulers gather together all matter from them all. And the servitors of all the rulers of the fate, and the servitors of the sphere which is below the eons, take it and fashion it into souls of men, and cattle and reptiles, wild beasts and birds, and send them down into the world of mankind. And further, the receivers of the sun and the receivers of the moon, if they look above and see the configuration of the path of the eons, and the configuration of the fate and those of the sphere, then they take from them the light power. And the receivers of the sun get it ready and deposit it, until they hand it over to the receivers of Melchizedek, the light purifier. And the material refuse they bring to the sphere which is below the eons, and fashion it into souls of men, 
and fashion it also in the souls of reptiles, of cattle, and of wild beasts, and of birds, according to the circle of the rulers in that sphere, and according to all the configurations of its revolution, and they cast them into this world of mankind. And they become souls in this region, as I have said unto you. Chapter 26 This, then, they accomplished continuously before their power was diminished in them, and they wanted and became exhausted or powerless. It came to pass, then, when they had become powerless, that their powers began to cease in them, so that they became exhausted in their power, and their light, which was in their region, ceased, and their kingdom was destroyed, and the universe became quickly raised up. It came to pass, then, when they had perceived this at the time, and when the number of the cipher of Melchizedek, the receiver of the light, happened, then had he to come out again, and enter into the midst of the rulers of all the eons, and into the midst of all the rulers of the fate, and those of the spheres. And he threw them into agitation, and made them quickly abandon their circles, and forthwith they were constrained, and cast forth the power out of themselves, out of the breath of their mouth, and the tears of their eyes, and the sweat of their bodies. And Melchizedek, the receiver of the light, purified them, as he doth continually. He carried their light into the treasury of the light. And all the rulers of the eons and the rulers of the fate, and those of the sphere, turn to the matter of their refuse. They devour it, and do not let it go, and become souls in the world. They devour then their matter, so that they may not become powerless and exhausted, and their powers cease in them, and their kingdom become destroyed but in order that they may delay and linger a long time until the completion of the number of the perfect souls who shall be in the treasury of the light. Chapter 27 It came to pass then when the rulers of the eons and those of the fate and those of the sphere continued to carry out this type, turning on themselves, devouring the refuse of their matter, and not allowing souls to be born into the world of mankind in order that they might delay in being rulers, and that the powers which are in their powers, that is, the souls, might spend a long time here outside, they then persisted doing this continually for two circles. It came to pass, then, when I wished to ascend for the ministry for the sake of which I was called, by command of the first mystery, that I came up into the midst of the tyrants of the rulers of the twelve eons, with my light vesture about me, shining most exceedingly, and there was no measure for the light which was about me. It came to pass, then, when these tyrants saw the great light which was about me, that the great Adamas, the tyrant, and all the tyrants of the twelve eons, all together began to fight against the light of my vesture, desiring to hold it fast among them, in order to delay in their rulership. This then they did, not knowing against whom they fought. When they then mutinied and fought against the light, therein by command of the first mystery, I changed the path and the courses of their eons, and the path of their fate and of their sphere. I made them face six months toward the triangles on the left, and towards the square, and towards those in their aspect, and towards their octagons, just as they had formerly been. But their manner of turning or facing I changed to another order and made them other six months' face towards the works of their influence in the squares on the right, and in their triangles, and in those in their aspect and in their octagons. And I made them to be confounded in great confusion and deluded in great delusion. The rulers of the eons and all the rulers of the fate and those of the spheres. And I set them in great agitation, and thence on they were no longer able to turn towards the refuse of their matter to devour it, in order that their regions may continue to delay, and they themselves may spend a long time as rulers. But when I had taken away a third of their power, I changed their spheres, so that they spend a time facing to the left, and another time facing to the right. I have changed their whole path and their whole course, and I have made the path of their course to hurry, so that they may be quickly purified and raised up quickly. And I have shortened their circles, and made their path more speedy, and it will be exceedingly hurried. And they were thrown into confusion under their path, 
and from then on were no more able to devour the matter of the refuse of the purification of the light. And moreover, I have shortened their times and their periods, so that the perfect number of souls who shall receive the mysteries and be in the treasury of the light shall be quickly completed. For had I not changed their courses, and had I not shortened their periods, they would not have let any soul come into the world because of the matter of their refuse, which they devoured, and they would have destroyed many souls. For this cause I said unto you after time, I have shortened the time because of my elect, otherwise no soul would have been able to be saved. And I have shortened the time and the periods because of the perfect number of the souls who shall receive the mysteries, that is to say, the elect. And had I not shortened their periods, no material soul would have been saved for they would have perished in the fire which is in the flesh of the rulers. This, then, is the word on which thou dost question me with precision. It came to pass, then, when Jesus had finished speaking these words unto his disciples, that they fell down altogether, adored him, and said unto him, Blessed are we before all men, for unto us thou hast revealed these great exploits. Chapter 28 The Powers Adore the Light Vesture and Jesus continued again in his discourse, and said unto his disciples, Hearken concerning the things which befell me among the rulers of the twelve eons, and all their rulers, and their lords, and their authorities, and their angels, and their archangels. When then they had seen the vesture of light which was about me, they and their unpaired, then every one of them saw the mystery of his name, that it was on my vesture of light which was about me. They fell down altogether, adored the vesture of light which was about me, and cried out altogether, saying, How hath the Lord of the universe passed through it without our knowing it? And they all sang praises together to the interior of the interiors, and all their triple powers and their great forefathers, and their ungenerated and their self-generated, and their generated and their gods, and their light sparks, and their light bearers, in a word, all their great ones saw the tyrants of their region, that their power was diminished in them. And they were in weakness, and themselves fell into great and immeasurable fear. And they gazed on the mystery of their name on my vesture, and they had set out to come and adore the mystery of their name which was on my vesture. And they could not because of the great light which was about me. But they adored a little removed from me, and they adored the light of my vesture, and all cried out together, singing praise to the interiors of the interiors. It came to pass then, when this befell among the tyrants, who are below these rulers, that they all lost power and fell down to the ground in their eons, and became as the dead world-dwellers, with no breath in them, as they became in the hour when I took from them their power. It came to pass then thereafter, when I left those eons, that every one of all those who were in the twelve eons was bound to their orders altogether, and they accomplished their work as I have established them, so that they spend six months turned to the left in accomplishing their work in their squares and their triangles, and in those which are in their aspect, and at further they spend another six months facing to the right and towards their triangles and their squares and those which are in their aspect. Thus, then, will those who are in the fate and in the sphere travel. Chapter 29 Jesus entereth the thirteenth eon, and findeth Pistis Sophia. It came to pass, then, thereafter, that I ascended to the vales of the thirteenth eon. It came to pass, then, when I had arrived at their vales, that they drew apart on their own accord and opened themselves for me. I entered into the thirteenth eon, and found Pista Sophia below the thirteenth eon all alone, and no one of them with her. And she sat in that region, grieving and mourning, because she had not been admitted into the thirteenth eon, her higher region. And she was moreover grieving because of the torments which Seth willed, who was one of the three triple powers had inflicted on her. But this, when I shall come to speak with you respecting their expansion, I will tell you the mystery how this befell her. It came to pass then, when Pista Sophia saw me shining most exceedingly, and with no measure for the light which was about me, that she was in great agitation, and gazed at the light of my vesture. 
She saw the mystery of her name on my vesture and the whole glory of its mystery, for formerly she was in the region of the height, in the thirteenth eon. But she was wont to sing praises to the higher light, which she had seen in the veil of the treasury of the light. It came to pass then, when she persisted in singing praises to the higher light, that all the rulers who are with the two great triple powers, and her invisible who is paired with her, and the other two and twenty invisible emanations gazed at the light, inasmuch as Pistis Sophia and her pair. They and the other two and twenty emanations make up four and twenty emanations, which the great invisible forefather and the two great triple powers have emanated. 